Hmm. Hello, everybody. We are back. Sorry about that. Just got uh, disconnected. And when it does that, it gets kind of, you know, so we just, I just, you know, restarted everything and all that. So uh, we are back, though. So we'll get everyone a minute here. Um, so well, I guess we'll just uh, pick up where we left off. We're going to take on some Silver Dragon. Let's take on some Silver Dragon. Oh yeah, I was buying soda. Right, I bought the soda. And then I got DC'd or something. I don't know what happened. We are back, though, everybody. I kept it the same info, like title and everything. That was just unexpected. We got a rare enhancer. May as well just go back to the output. What's up, people? Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Just, uh, you know... Just out of precaution, you know, I restarted it. Because when that screen backs out, you know, it, you know, you're completely out of the games. So, you know, um, that was the only reason why. But we are back. Hey. What are you after? What are we after? We're trying to make some money, Crater. That's what we're trying to do. Getting some envelopes now. Oh, my armor's good. Oh, cool. Very annoyed. Very annoyed. Got nine minutes for the gold one. Um. I don't know. Uh, we have less than two hours to go, guys, until the reset. So. <coughs> Let me just think, what's my next goal here for uh, the event? What do I want to do? Oh, you know what they could have done with this? You know what they could have done with this, you guys? What if... What if... The first... The first roll is 500 credits. And then the second roll... Is like... 750. But then you get like... What? 59 minimums for the top three? 50 minimum for the bottom two? Or like the damage? And then like 30? Wouldn't that have been something? <laughs> Just keep up like a second upgrade? Instead of enhance, it would be like uh, legendary or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just a thought. But uh, yeah, so really we got a good roll on the mask. We've got a 
really good roll. Well, actually, a really good roll on the mask. We got a good, really good roll on the onslaught. Uh, I've crafted all this other stuff. That's really just going to be pouches and elite enhancers as far as that goes. I might just make a lunar cake later just because, <laughs> just to have one. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, tips to kill serpents. Any who, who is asking that question? Who is asking that Mr. White? Where are you at? Oh, here you are. Uh, let me let me just see their stat. Oh wow! Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Well, Need to be fast. Good armor. Ranged weapon. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Based on their stats, they're nowhere near ready to take them on. But I think to take on Silver, you gotta just uh, try to be, be as fast as you can. Headshots, right? Okay, guys. So, we got the upgrade at headgear. We got the upgrade at main weapon rifle build. Okay, so this is this is good. This is, um, you know, what I was hoping for, for from this event. So we got that. What else could we upgrade? What else could we do? So... I need more walk speed because you guys, you may have noticed when I'm shooting the dragons and I'm moving backwards when I'm shooting, that's walk speed. I'm getting blindsided and hit by the zombies <laughs> too often because I'm just slow. That's that's the one part of my mobility that's slow is the walk speed. I don't get any walk speed from the joggers. I don't get any walk speed from the boots. And I don't get any walk speed from the uh, other weapons. You got to get walk speed from somewhere because you just don't get enough from reloading. I actually think they don't give you enough walk speed. I think it should be 50. I think it should be 50 like the others. It just seems odd that it's only 25. It's really not not fast enough. So I'm gonna be trying to work on that. Um, but these these joggers are actually elite, so like I don't know, you know. Really, it's really a stretch to try to get walk speed on something like these two. I don't know how. I it would be like a million dollar jogger. So I'm just kind of conceding that fact because I don't know. Boots agreed are good. But, you know, I wanted, I, I was doing some research, I wanted to get the Reckless Raider ones, but they're, 
they're way too expensive. If we just type in what reckless. Yeah, these are 20 mil now, guys. But you see what I'm talking about with this walk speed, though? The walk speed you get from these boots is double what you get from maxing the uh, reload stat. But that's why, I mean, these were, I think these were, what, five, six million before <laughs> the event, though? But these, okay, so this, um, so here we go, guys. So this is where I'm going to be focusing on next. It's a lot of money, and I'm actually, I'm not going to do this for the event. It's going to be post-event is kind of where I'm going to be thinking about this, but... I think I'm going to go for the Reckless Raider boots next. And the ones that I would want to get if they were priced affordably, like in a couple mil, right, would be something like this. Okay. Uh, you get the incoming damage, a minus five, which, again, we need for the build. So really, after you upgrade it with Soft Souls, it'll be minus four. So we'll get we'll pick up minus four incoming damage there. The sprint speed's gonna be like gaining a level. So that's awesome. Okay. Cooldown would be plus one. So it's basically I'll be at one away from the max, so whatever. The jog speed will like it'll be like you gained a jogger level. And then uh walk speed will be fifty-four percent. That's the main reason why I'd be doing this. Um because the walk speed, when you when you have that kind of walk speed, every shot you take while you're strafing and backing up and all that, it's just gonna be you're just gonna be moving faster. And when you're reloading and in that animation, you're gonna be moving faster, right? That's what that's what's getting me killed in a lot of these situations where I get caught on stuff, and it's because I'm compensating when I'm aiming at an enemy. I'm having to stare like too long and be slow down where if I was just fast enough, I would get out of that situation. So reckless Raider boots. Um, I want those two that and hanged man's mask, fat man's mitten. Yeah. The fat man's mittens. Um, we could look at those after. Um, so I was thinking, like, okay, the Reckless Raider gloves, right? I mean, these are like the end game, top tier. I mean, something like, something like this, right? Sixty-two percent headshot. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is a haymaker right here. The only thing I don't like about them is that, like, I want to keep the aim speed, but you you just aren't gonna get that. So that reticle, when you go from max to min, max to min, it's just going to be slower to get there, but you're going to attack quicker. Your reticle, you're not going to recover as fast to your minimum, but you're going to attack fast. What's what's the philosophy there, you know? Do I pay 15 million for that? I don't know. So I think I'm going to go for the boots first and kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, welcome back. So, uh, thanks for the like there. Just a continuation of the stream. I know it's going to be divided into two, so I apologize for that happening. But the server disconnected. I, I couldn't do anything about that. So, thanks for understanding. Um, I know, I know it was kind of an awkward transition, but... Not much we could do there. But we're back, so we're here. Um... How much longer for this event? Uh, so what would I say? Another, another, because it ends on the 25th. So if something ends on the 25th, today would be what, the 19th? So today, day one, the six days is the 24th. If they're saying in the notes that it's ending on the 25th, uh, I'm going to say 
ends on the 25th. So, <clears throat> if they mean, right, if they mean that's the final day, then that, you know, we still got what, six full days. Wait, there's no all-purpose mittens for sale at the moment? Sold out. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man, There's there's been a group where somebody's buying all the top-tier uniques, I've noticed. I mean, they were going to kind of, you know, sell anyway because of demand, but... Really, really, actually, guys, Fat Man's sidearm would be pretty decent against the dragons, too. Not for the damage, but as a backup weapon com uh, combined with the Onslaught. Because you'll be moving a little faster. You'll be moving a little faster. And the, the incoming damage, that, that's the stat right there. Incoming damage, that's actually... Pretty significant, you know. Twenty-one. That that you know. That's the one thing with with my shotgun. I mean, that shotgun I've got is really good, right? I'm, I you know, that shotgun. I have no complaint. But if there was one thing that's kind of lacking, it is that incoming damage, and it doesn't have to be from that weapon. Just the overall percentage. Thanks for the like, guys. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. Sorry that 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 last the, the stream got uh, interrupted. It the server disconnected, and you got to be careful with that. You know, the game crash, all that stuff. So I just thought it was cleaner to better to just reset and try again. Um, and anyways, we'll be getting uh, back to the action here shortly. But just wanted to see something in the market because that was uh, that was it. Okay, credits are going down a little bit. Credits are going down. Okay. Okay. So 852. Yeah, and that's funny because, uh, what, an hour ago when I enhanced the Onslaught, I paid 890, so I would have saved 38k. How would I have known, though? You know? I missed out on the ones that were 800k a little bit ago. That was a bummer. But, okay. So I think it was uh, Myth that said the button. Yeah, okay, yeah, the buttons. <laughs> Yeah, if if you guess right on this crafting stuff, you can make a ton of profit. You can take me you can make a ton of profit if you guess right which crafting item it'll be. You know. <laughs> we'll just take a second here. I'm just kind of checking some Because, like I was telling you guys, yeah, it's risk-reward. Risk-reward. So, in mind, what I've got in mind for upgrades from the rifle build now for the character, now that I got the enhanced rifle, now that I got the Nian mask with a really good roll, I'm just thinking in these terms. Yes, this is 2 mil. Before the event, these were like 1.7. You get a little bit more aim speed and you get a little bit more search speed. The aim speed actually does make a difference. 7% though. So I'm just kind of thinking, okay, does that move the needle? These were 800k, guys. These... Coding kits for 800k, but the reason why I was thinking about this at the time was because of the uh, incoming damage mining. So 
So when you're going up against the dragons and you have an extra minus 2% incoming, maybe that's not a whole lot. But it might keep you alive. And that would be on your, your gloves. So you could actually upgrade your gloves with that. If you think you have end game gloves or ones you want to keep for a while, then that's what you would do. And that's what I'm trying to think. Are these gloves it for me? Like, are these the end game gloves for me until Reckless Raider? I've been searching and searching. And I mean, these are these are I think these are good. It's too bad damage versus humans is a wasted stat. It would have been nice to get one of the accuracies or something. I didn't get it, though. Uh, stun Dura is not necessarily wasted, but I would prefer, you know, attack speed or an accuracy. But this would be an example of what you would consider using the coding kit on. And then for your, your overall stats, you know, another minus 2% incoming damage. If you're not already at the max, I'd be at, I would be at 61. And the max is what 65 or 75 so again anything you can do to chip away at that difference to where you maximize your your the, the positive stats yeah it costs well two million now so i'm not going to do it now but after the event when they go down to 800k i i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna consider that just kind of going over what I would do for uh, upgrading the character here uh, post event, but I will need I will need your advice, guys. So, with the armor plate, I just had a question. Do you guys know offhand, generally speaking, what the reckless raider armor like? What the there's there's a reckless raider armor, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think there's an example in the market. But I know I know there's the gloves and the boots, but isn't there like a armor too? <laughs> I wish they had like examples in the market that were you you couldn't buy them, but like you can actually see what an example of what the gear is that exists, right? I'd like to see one example of what that ammo like armor is. I've seen people open it and get it, but like, I don't know. I have no clue what the stats are. I know it's got probably really good incoming damage, but I don't know, you know. Myth, what's up? We're back. Yeah, any, any ideas, guys, on the Reckless Raider stuff? On the armor? I was just kind of thinking out loud, but I'm just trying to think what else I could upgrade before running some uh, purple zones. Just, just some like a, a goal to have in mind, you know. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, this is a really good. This is a really good Kevlar vest. I'm just trying to think in the future. Okay, is there anything I could save towards that's a little better? Oh. So, Cause I don't want it to just be, oh, this is it, and then you know what I mean. Because I, I feel like I'm still not quite there with mobility. All right, guys, let's see here. Where are we at? We've got some purple zones. We could go to Haver and take out the silver ones. I think that's a solid. Show. Oh, haha. <laughs> so, myth, yeah. Um, yeah. These joggers, you're saying? Dude, I know. I lucked out when I bought these. I was like, wait, what? It, it got, like, top-tier inventory capacity. And then the incoming damage and the, you know, health and all. The Sprint Dura. Like I was saying, 
before, instead of incoming stun recovery, if I had just got walk speed, if I had just got walk speed, oh my goodness. I didn't, I gotta get walk speed from somewhere else. Cause I'm not, I am not letting these ones go. I even, I even compared the, these to the business pants. What? Let me just do that real quick. Sorry, detour. Uh, what is this? Uh, Homer. Yeah, I mean, if you compare these to the business pants, <laughs> I have more, more inventory than the business pants. Obviously, not more health. Got more sprint dura, more sprint dura, more inventory, but yeah, you're not gonna compete with the incoming damage. That's it is what it is. But this is like a mini, like a different, like a lesser version of Comers, basically. So that's why I didn't want to like swap them out for something else that had walk speed, but. The strafe speed's what's killing me right now. I'm just not fast enough. It seems like it, because I've got reloading level 5, but they don't give you enough, in my opinion, for that. I, I was reading in the patch notes, guys. When, uh, when they did the movement speed, when they changed the movement speed stuff, when they did that update, whenever that was, August or whatever... They said that the walk speed has been adjusted to 200% max. Well, how do you, how on earth can you get 200% if reloading is only going to give you 25? You have to have reckless raider boots. You have, you know what I mean? Like you have to have all that stuff at 50 to even try to get there. I pretty much have the same pants. It's just that health boot. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was... I think I, I think I paid... I think it was like two or three hundred thousand for these or something. I can't remember. But when I saw them, I just kind of bought them. I'm like, yeah, I think these are really good. <laughs> Sometimes you just see those rare items in the market. You just gotta buy them, you know? Like, I, I'll, I'll, you know, it may not be there today, but if you wait, you give it another day, you know, maybe there'll be something there you're looking for in the market. <laughs> you ain't. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I took your example of, I think, was it you? I'm trying to remember. Was it you? It was, uh, I'm trying to remember who's who. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, they said uh, got some. I got some uh, deal on some potato chips in the market or something. I'm trying to remember who said that. I bought. I bought potato chips. I bought potato chips for like three k. And I bought. Um, I bought cloth for a hundred bucks, and it's like twenty k. <laughs> so that was cool. All right, I'm just getting in range of these uh, dragons here. Let me get this before I get bit by. Oh, I didn't even see that one. That was good. That zombie almost got me good there. Okay. Two less zombies that'll get in the way. go it's not even the the dragons that are so much the problem it's these zombies that get in the way and get like lucky hits on me like giving me debuffs i saw a 50k book pistol i'm waiting for an elite enhancer well there you go yeah because there's money to be made with them 
That's what I do. I check every day. I check every single day for uh, cheap fine book stuff. Especially with players coming back for the event. Some of them kind of sell that stuff not knowing the values. You know what I mean? Anything right now is great. Event is up until the 25th. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Correct. Okay, good. Well, that, that didn't hurt. Nice. Yeah, this is... This is... This is... Yep. All right, do we want to go? Let's... Oh, I don't have enough time to take that one out. I might as well just continue to loot in here for a minute. So is it still nine bullets for silver? Um, you mean to take a silver one out, uh, Miss? Hmm, let me... So, uh... Before the... Before the, uh, upgrade, it was taking me seven headshots for a silver with my current build. It, I, I think... I think it's still seven, but I am attacking a little faster. It seems like it's going a little smoother. I don't know. I have, to, I have to pay attention on the next one. That, that's a good question. I think... I think it's still about the same amount of bullets. But I think... It, it just seems like it's a little cleaner. It's just a little bit better of a result. And I have a little more accuracy because I got the red dot instead of the other scope. So it's a little more accurate. So it is making a difference. I figure I'll run this until I'm able to get the uh, compact scope or when they come down from being 5 mil. That that's a lot. That's a lot for me. You do roughly 80 damage per headshot with 200% versus mutant, like 160. Um, yeah, it's like 79 something. I'll show you here in a sec. Good, good question. Yeah, so it's yeah, I'm at 79 now. I was at 77. But 79. At, um, 213 mutated. I feel like I'm really close to getting it down to six shots per... I'm very... I think I'm close. I just don't know that exact health number for the dragon, but it's approximate. So basically, yeah, so basically, it would be, yeah, the 79 plus the 158. Well, it would be a little more than 150. It would be whatever th the extra 13% is. 13% of 79. I don't know, another 10 something, 11 damage, let's say. So that would be almost 170 so that's that's about 250 damage total yeah because what it would do so you get your headshot damage yeah 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 so you get your headshot damage so the 79 so you have that right and then the, and then the 213 yeah so yeah mm-hmm 
Yep, so my goal, so my goal is I want to, with these joggers, I'm keeping these joggers. I, th this might be my next move. I think I'm going to, so what you can do is you right click the jogger, or you right click the thing. Actually, I can't do it. You have to do it in an outpost, maybe. But it says, like, something with an upgrade. I can't remember what. But you can get rid of the upgrade. I don't want greedy pouches on these. I found out. So I would remove. I would switch that. It costs you 200 credits to get rid of that. If you can believe that. So that's what? Like 1.7 mil? But if you did that. Then you can equip them with what you want. Which would be the uh, snow hunter pouches. Which would give me. Another 8% uh, damage versus mutated. Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah. Yep. So what it does is it destroys the upgrade. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like that's not right. I don't know, you know? It destroys the upgrade. So in this case, I don't really mind because it's greedy pouches and, you know. Yeah, it, do it does. Yeah, so what I was thinking, you know, because I'm like, I'm, a, I'm thinking from a market perspective kind of at the same time. Yeah, I know. Oh, we'll get to take on some more silver dragons. Second. Um... What I was doing was I was searching for weapons that had like the brand new scope that weren't really worth 3.5 mil. And I was just trying to think like, oh, hey, you know, can I make some money by unequipping these uh, upgrades and reselling the upgrade? But you can't do that because it destroys the upgrade. That's like, what? Why? I, I feel like that's kind of meh. Like, I don't know about that one. So, those upgrades are so expensive. I don't know why. I think it encourages inflation. To not, I don't know. Because if you if you allow it, then you have more in circulation in the market, which means lower prices. So by not allowing it, in encourages inflation. It's inflationary. That's why I was kind of surprised in the notes when they said that they're working to combat it. I'm like, well, I, I believe you, but you have to get rid of this no trade stuff or it's going to be, it's just not going to work, uh, you know? You can't, uh, you can't have that go both ways. Sadly enough, it just, like, I don't know. Some of the prices of some of the stuff have gotten out of control because there's no way to rein that in. You can't... Like, if there's only two brand new scopes in existence, they're going to be 10 mil. Like, you know what I mean? There's The players are not going to... Oh, yeah, I'll sell them for, you know, a mil. Like They're not going to take that kind of loss. All right, where are we at? Silver dragon, silver dragon, silver dragon. I don't see him, I don't see him, I don't see him. Here we go. Whoa. It's seven, it's seven, it's seven. Seven, seven uh, shot, headshot. They're a uh, myth. Okay, it took a little bit. What'd you say? Oh, I, I also think that upgrading crafting materials are too rare. I I would agree with you. It, yeah, they're a little too rare. For for a game that has some casual elements to it, I I kind of yeah. It's easy for that part of the market to be manipulated, and that's what's happened. People were able to buy up, and I'm not judging, I don't, you know, I'm not judging, I'm just making a statement. 
a group of people were able to buy a buttons to where they were two hundred thousand dollars like that is just i don't know you know what i mean is that is that what they mean like you know what i'm saying like i don't know is that what they meant like that's not good right is it <laughs> If, if you want participation, the average player is not going to spend 800k on four buttons to do one quest. It's, it's not going to happen. Hmm. Oh, you get the lucky hit. So I have to... I have to... Take it out, the zombie out. That's such a lucky. Oh, I'm gonna bite you from the side when you're over here, chomp. Right, buddy. Sure. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not allowed to pause for a second. But, uh, okay, yeah, so you got the damage there. if I can heal up a little. Now the whole neighborhood's alerted, but I had to make that play. Whatever they are, we're just going to take it. <laughs> yeah so so um so myth what i'm doing uh crab myth crab uh what I, guys what i'm doing is like anything i find like anything that uh, i find out in the open you know or wherever you know however i get it whatever kind of cash i'm converting that into the uh potential quest item for the next day so, like, if I get crappy ammo, like Magnum ammo or something, and I sell it for 300 bucks, I just save that kind of money up, and I buy antiseptic sprays, and I'm trying to, like, turn junk into gold, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. Because if I can get that that right, that guess right every day for the, uh, the quest item, you know, it just kind of, like... It's it's like a, a multiplier, right? So if if I you know, if it's one X multiplier, if I'm doing a one to one ratio of like cost and just kind of exchanging like item for item. But then the new item is gonna be worth ten X tomorrow. So that's basically like I found ten of them from that one bin, you know? So that's I I'm, I'm kind of going all in with those antiseptic sprays, but hey, I'm telling you guys, I think it's got to be that one more time at least, right? It's been a couple days. They don't really seem to deviate too much with the rotation. I feel like it's kind of going to be either today or tomorrow or something antiseptic spray. And they're going to be probably like 8k each. And I have like 200 of them, so I kind of hope that that's the case. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. And I wasn't kind of like planning on that, you know. I mean, that's not how I typically play this game. I don't play this game to buy a hundred bags of potato chips. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, if that's what the event calls for, you got to do what you got to do. I don't know. Hey, we found Pete's recipe in a kitchen. That's cool. I mean, hey, that actually makes sense. We found Pete's recipe right here. You know, that makes some sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, if they had it, like, down to a science like that, where you found um, Kate's, e Kate's Eatery Invitation, it'd be like in, like, a... Uh, where would it be? Well, I, I, okay. Yeah, I guess... Whatever fits the theme, right? Oh, we have a mission. Oh, it's one of these sample ones. 
Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like, I used to do those ones back in the day. I don't really, I don't know. I really don't like the, uh, it just, yeah. I would like zombies to drop loot. I don't want them to drop, you know what I mean? I want to loot, like get extra loot from a random zombie, you know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so we still got time to take out this dragon. Let me make sure I got my, uh, all the buffs here. As if I didn't have enough sugar dragons already. But who knows? Hey, why I do this is because, hey, it might be sugar dragon. And you know what? They'll be 10k each. Easy. So I'm just trying to, like, have enough where I can even get the, the, the use out of them, right? I try to use what? I try to use one for every dragon. Like, the two dragon zones. But it's hard. It's hard to always time. Okay, guys. Let's go. Dragon, 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 dragon. Seven shots so far. Ten. You guys are going to have to count them because I'm not going to really be able to. This one's so fast. I think I'm at 13. I got to get this stuck on the zombies. 16. 23, I think. 27, is it? I think it's 27, Myth, for the gold one. Ooh, that was tough. 27 for the gold. So if you want to run that uh, calculation there in the chat, just for fun, I think it was 27 headshots. I may have got a body shot in there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was hitting the headshot. That would be, what, 120, 168 times 27? So okay. I guess you I guess you could think of it as the gold dragon has the health, it appears, of four silver dragon. I think. Cause, cause yeah, because if you do the math. Oh, let's just get in here real quick. So if you do the math. Yeah, so, okay, so if each silver one is seven headshot, there's two for every purple zone. And then the gold one's 27. Yeah, so it's about, it has the health of about four silvers. Just, just for your guys' reference. Oh, we handed in, oh, okay, I got a mission. Oh, cool. That'll help pay for my armor repairs. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't even aware of... I did anything. I mean, I'll take it, right? Uh, I gotta use up some of these meds. This is the AR I was talking about, guys. I got... I got this for... I got this for, like... What did I pay? Like, 300 bucks? I paid 300 bucks for this. And I think I could sell it for, like, a couple hundred thousand. Because the, the find ammo chance is so high. It, minus. I was not expecting to find that. That was quite a deal. That was crazy good. You just have to have a you just have to have a buyer for that though. That's the only hard part with that. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, probably. Okay, we'll sell some stuff. Um, did anything? S okay, we're at 508k and we got some of that cash back, so that's good. Uh, 
will sell some Colt rounds with K. All oh, these, okay, yeah. All right. Hey, it'll be a partial funding of buying another antiseptic spray. Not all, not all bad. Would it, be, it would be so hilarious, guys, on stream, if I could just, if you see on the reset that it's <laughs> antiseptic spray and you get to see how many I sell for like 10k. That's so fun. I'm, I'm hoping. I know it's, you know, it's a bit much, but hey, there's only, what, five, six days left of this event, so, you know, may as well get the most out of it, right? Okay, so we're going to craft another pouch here. Like I was saying, I think that's going to be uh, one of my one of the themes is now that we've got the onslaught, we've got the mask. We're making money by selling these pouches. So just keep keep doing it, right? You know? I think I net like 49k for each one I make. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought something. I thought a big ticket item. So. Um. Hey. I'm gonna actually price this one a little more because it seems like towards the end of near the reset, like a few minutes before, they go up a few. We'll go few thousand more. I think. Yesterday I was a couple thousand too high. <laughs> see, we'll see if I get it right this. Time. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to sell some stuff. Let me just sort it so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm all trying to sell here. I wish this stuff wouldn't move around, because I know I don't, uh, you know, I'm not moving this. <laughs> it's like the game's kind of getting mixed up with the order of the item. Alright, so... There's a Soft Souls. Give you an idea of what I'm trying to sell here. Let's go. Okay. So... We'll just say these first six items, right? Um, like you were saying, Myth. Um, so I found this elite speed. I found a rare speed six um, in the fine book category for like 500 bucks. And I bought it. <laughs> so I'm trying to sell it for 300k because I used it an elite enhancer on it. So yeah, I didn't get the best fine book roll, but I still got 32, so it's it's still got some value. Oh, you know? it's still something. I you know I was hoping to land over 40. Um, and then this is my find food sunglasses. There really isn't all that many of these uh, in existence. Let me show you guys. Not gonna die out there, traitor! You gotta be optimist. Huh? We're gonna make it. Was this fine food chant? Um, let's see. Yeah, so I wanted you guys to see this. When you see all these that have the same exact numbers and they're all the same days remaining, it's a particular person or group that's coordinating them. This isn't this isn't random, okay? This is coordinated. So you see that. What I'm trying to sell is something with fine food chance that's elite. In reality, this is like one of the cheapest in existence that's still there. I thought that that was pretty generous, too. Because these sunglasses are actually... They give you another percent, and these ones are, what, 80, 90k more? And you get 47% XP with it, too. 
Um, yeah, so this is kind of like the fine book example, you guys. Somebody's buying up all the fine food chance because of the, uh, you know, the chips and all these other food items going up so much. They're buying all the other ways you could get those items faster. <laughs> so I was lucky enough to buy a rare sunglass and I used a rare enhan a elite enhancer on it. So this is like a one-of-a-kind kind of item, basically. Two of a kind, but you know what I'm saying. Very rare. All right, very good. So, um, we got some more dragons to take out. Oh, and we got some Nian Zombies, too. Huh, well. Hmm. Gold one's kind of out of the way. I could go silver neon, maybe. Maybe we'll no, maybe we'll do that. We'll go silver neon. We have what less than an hour to go. We have less than an hour to go, so we'll try to get as much out of these uh, zones as we. Can. If you guys, you know, whoever's on and playing, you know, and trying to make those market moves, I would do it now. Well, if you have an idea like, oh, hey, I think it's going to be this item, you should try to get those items bought now. Like what I did with chocolate spread yesterday. I had a I just had a gut feeling. OK, I had a gut feeling that it was going to be chocolate spread. For something, and I was like, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's going to be chocolate. Spread. So I I just bought 10 of them. I just bought 10 of them. And then an hour later, it was chocolate spread. So, if you if you have that in mind, you know you could be right. Um, I would just make that spend now. Like, don't go you know don't go over you know a lot with the um, crafting stuff, but definitely consider. You know, uh, some of the food items that aren't too expensive. Maybe like peanut butter, buy a couple of those or something. I don't know. One of these days, I think they're going to throw a curveball at us and they're going to totally change things up or something. They just have that funny feeling where it's like, you know, how do I explain that? But... Yeah, I don't know. So, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Uh, you know? And, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I could own up to that. Like, okay, I wasn't right. But I just think they still got, you know, what, six days left. So, they're going to do some of the usual stuff for a couple more days here. I wouldn't, you know, imagine it being too different. But some stuff is going to be different. Where is the zone at? Okay, I gotta go this way. How did that sound again? Not sound, but a dragon. I put like 10 shots into them. Or is it stuck? I can't even see it now. Oh, where? What? There we go. Okay, so Silver Dragon down. I like, I, honestly, guys, it, these are really good for XP. Even if you don't take on the gold one, these other zones are actually really respectable for XP. So if you're just trying to level up and still get to that point, where you want to take on the silver dragon, but you're not quite there. The neon zombie one's actually really not bad. 
Especially if you have some XP gear with you to get the, you know, the full 300%. Those Neon Zombie ones, I mean, it'll give you almost 50,000 XP. And they take, what, a minute to do or whatever it is? Really not bad. And you, and you could do that every every 20 minutes. Uh, unless there is a outpost defense. And as much as I like fighting the dragons, I don't like to constantly fight them. It is kind of nice taking on the zombie one here and there, too. You know, just have a bit of a layup with just an easier... You know, somewhat easy, you know, it's easier, right? But not absolutely easy. You still got to make the shot, but, you know. If I can loot this. Leather gloves. Oh, I thought that said leather. I thought that just said leather by itself. Oh, man. That would have been so hilarious. I go to a random purple zone and get... Leather. <laughs> that would have been great. Okay, well... Alright, cool. Well, sweet. We did that. And I'm passing up on all that stuff. All right. Where are we going to go? I guess we could run back to the... It's a bit of a ways away, though, so if I want to... Probably faster for me to go to Albo. And fast trap? Yeah, I don't know. Probably faster for me to go here and fast travel to Greywood. So what, 600 meters, and then that one was about 1,500 away? So you gotta split the difference, and then go, okay, well, 900 meters. Is it 900 meters from Greywood? I don't think so. I think it's probably like 500. We'll see how close I am. Eh, 500, 600 probably. So it would save me, what... 40 seconds of running, whatever that is. I mean, every, you know, I mean, every every bit counts, because especially with how long it takes to complete some of these, I just want to make sure I complete it in time. I was hoping I got some bag of chips or something. Zoom Dale Express. Five thirty three. Okay, I said five hundred meters, it's five thirty. But I'm aiming in the middle of the zone. What is it? Okay. Alright. So approximately if I were to go there. Alright, you get the idea. I was I was pretty close. I was kinda of trying to think like, alright, well how how much, how far away is it? So the, technically that was about three, four hundred meters uh of saving distance. Do it that We'll go. We'll go 300 because it is. It does take you some time from the car to fall uh, back.
Hey, what's going on, DS? Is it worth it in 2024? Um, you're asking uh, Dead Frontier? To, uh, is it worth it to play? Uh, I would say so. Yeah. Um, I've actually... I've been having more fun with this game. I've been having more fun with this game now than I have in the past, for sure. It was okay in the past, but I feel like they've they've improved a lot of things. Um, so, you know, certainly doing a lot with the events and all that. We're actually taking on some dragons right now, so you drop by at a perfect time, because we'll fight some dragons here. Um, which actually, I don't think they've done that before. Kind of cool. Um... Trying to make sure I have all the uh, stuff ready. I would I would say yes to answer your question. I would recommend it, and I'm hoping to as many players uh, play that can, because uh, really I feel like it's an underrated game for uh, what it is. All right, guys, let's go Dragon Time. Dragon down. I got this whole crowd problem. But yeah, walk speed would help you with shots like this when you're trying to strafe and hit a target. I want to be faster when I'm doing this. Yeah, my accuracy would go down, but that's okay because I'm going to be hit from my sides. I need to Keep moving. Oh, we got an elite enhancer. All right, we pers we uh, got uh, enough for that, so that's awesome. You guys get to see me. I'm gonna roll a try on a find book gear and see how it turns out. That should be fun. And there's not many of them left in existence, so you'll get to see it here. I'm just trying to not go the wrong way because sometimes I I'm not sure. I get spun around because I have to hmm, run um, constantly away from those dragons. Um, this game? Are you asking this game? Um, no, actually, I think uh, it's a pretty solid game, in my opinion. Um, so, trying to think of what was that what was that game guys what was that game that flopped was it called the day before or something so um there was another zombie game and anyways long story short they had all these promises and blah 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 and then it ended up being so bad right it was one of those games that got really negative uh, reviews on uh Theme. this game is so much better than that it's just i think a lot of people don't know about it maybe i don't know i don't know what it is but a lot of players were informed about that game and it flopped they could have used that money to play this game and probably had a lot better of an experience i don't know you know anyways we are back at the outpost. There's no hope for us. There's no hope for us, traitor. That'd be so pessimistic. Okay, we've got two enhancers, so let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, find book. Hey, Swift, what's your sprint speed at? 
Hey, Miss. Thank you for the question. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, I am at 50% sprint speed. Yeah. So I think I jog faster than I sprint. But in, in terms of actual game speed, I don't know. It seems like I still sprint faster. Like, I know the speed is higher in the jog, but relative to how fast that makes you actually... But yeah, 50%. That's why with the uh, Reckless Raider boots, and I was just trying to see if I were to upgrade how much more I would get, and it would be another 5%. I would have to get sprint speed from the, uh, the secondary in order to get more at this point. I think sprint is faster, but only by a little. Yeah. So if you guys want to, like, um... Fun fact, right? I know there might be some disagreements with some of the vets on this point. I'm just going to tell you guys because this was something I was doing testing on, and you can feel free to do testing of your own too. To you know, just don't don't don't, don't believe what I say. Um, movement speed, movement speed. When you get plus movement speed, it affects. It also kind of, it, it's basically a global skill. It gives you walk, jog, and sprint. That's what movement is. So when you get plus movement, you're getting all of those. I tested this with an orangeizer, for example. And I put it in my uh, editing uh, timeline, like my like i could go i could go slow-mo and kind of like go time like frame by like really really zoom in on that anyways not to bore you with the details but when you aim in and walk from this side of the room to the other without orangeizer and with orangeizer if movement speed didn't affect your walk you should be there and back in the same amount of time but I was getting there and back considerably faster. So it has to adjust your speed. So when you see that you have plus movement speed, this is also a way to compensate when you don't have as high of, say, walk speed. You could get that with more movement speed. However, movement speed's capped at 50, so you're not going to get much. But you will get some. Orangeizer is awesome. Only thing is that it is a 25% damage penalty. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Just for testing, you can see that it makes a difference. How viable it is actually in the field. You wouldn't want to really do that against a dragon. Per se but if you were just doing that at a you know to test it out you know but yeah that's why you don't see me running a backpack out there guys because i don't like that minus movement speed because it takes away all of the movement it takes away all of that at once so if you have a, a was that a rucksack on you're gonna lose 10 sprint 10 jog 10 walk Keep that in mind when you're fighting a dragon. I don't think you want a backpack equipped for the dragon fight. Because it's out in the open world anyway, so you may not need a backpack for that. And then you can equip it for when you're going in a building or whatever. But you, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so hopefully that helps too. Alright, so we were going to get... Maybe it's out in my car, or maybe... Do I have it out there? Uh, I'll have to find a guy. I gotta find that uh, weapon. I was gonna elite enhance. Yeah, so crab with the orangeizer. Um, one of the uh, 
one of the effects is um, one of the effects is uh, an incoming damage penalty. So it's kind of like you're at Comer's or PCA when you're not, basically. Welcome, everybody. All right. So we are going to roll the find book stuff here. All right. So, Myth, I think you had mentioned you were trying to get something in the market for 50K. Yeah, so one one thing you guys can do um, while they're still available, because there's not m many of these weapons, you can get weapons that give you find book chance. And you can use enhancers on them. It resets the trades remaining. And you re-roll the stats. To see if they're any good. It's a low level pistol. Which is going to mean that the, the upper price won't be so high when you try to sell it. But I guarantee you, you'll get more than 500 bucks for it. So we're going to do that now. We'll see how this turns out. We got 46 find book. We landed 46 find book. So that's probably 800k. I'll, I'll have to price it. That's, that's no joke. That's probably 800k. I have to price it. Though. So I paid, I paid like 500 bucks for it. And that's not like a brag. It's just like a, I was just surprised. I was like, wait, what? Do they know that they can use an enhancer on that? Apparently not. Which is, you know, understandable. But All right, so we're going to try to price this. Let's find book chance. We landed to 46. Let's just see what's a good example of. Let's just kind of go from here. So this one's at 600,000 for 33. That hasn't moved in 13 days. <laughs> this one's 27 for what? 225? Okay. We need to find a, a 50, a 40 something percent one. I really no, right? This one's 32 for 550. This one's a million for 34. Okay, this one's 5 million for 43, but that one's been there for six days. I don't think that's a. I think this was the greening that I crafted and someone bought off me. I remember, I remember the stats. It was a 47, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they bought it to try to resell it, I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 46 is really good. I'm glad I got that. That's really hot. I'm not seeing anything besides the greening. 44 for 5 mil. That's why I did that, guys. Because I'm like, wait a minute. I think that might be a good one. 29. Yeah, I don't know. I might price it for like a million. I don't know. I really don't know. It's worth taking a minute, because if you're trying to sell something for a million, you know? I think it's worth to get that that right. Yeah, I legitimately think this is worth about a million. I, I do. From what I'm seeing here. I mean, yeah, this shovel's good. But it's 37, though. 
Okay, here's one example, I guess, for 44. Okay, maybe that tempers expectations a little bit. Still, you, you get what I'm saying. There's some serious money here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of yeah. price it. Doesn't really have any other stats with it though, so I will discount it a little bit. We'll go 600. I'll let, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's... Um, but that's what you can do to try to make some extra cash uh, in the market with an enhancer. You go around taking on dragons, getting XP, and then you can roll a, a weapon and see if you get uh, a good roll. And try to sell it for some uh, good cash. Okay. We got some new purples. Oh, wow, the gold dragon's actually really close. I guess we'll take on the gold one, then. Normally, I rotate a little differently. But, uh... We'll run the gold one. Welcome, everybody. So, alright. Uh, let's go more in the middle of this zone, because I want to make sure I'm not, like, missing the boundary. The border. That. Okay. We got that set. Um, before I go out there, I want to make sure I have a bit more support. We have 31 minutes until the next, uh, mission reset. Let me just take a quick second. How much are chips at now? I'm going to guess chips are at 9k. Ready? Oh, 5k. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. They're still holding at 5. <laughs> you watch. They're going to do peanut butter one of these days. You watch. Uh, I called it here. One of these days they're picking peanut butter. I'm just saying. Is the Lunar Kid's going to want a, a, a peanut butter sandwich? One of these days, they're they're picking peanut butter. I'm gonna guess. There's no, you know, it's possible. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but I mean, I it wouldn't shock me at all if they did that. It'll be peanut butter. But first, they're gonna probably. I think they're gonna pick chips for today, like coming up. I think it's, uh, I put it up there in the, uh, chat too. I think it's gonna be chips, uh, for the, uh, Lunar Kid. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be either Lunar Cake or the Sugar Dragons for the, mo the Lunar Mother. Um, I think it's gonna be any ammo for the dad, right? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. It doesn't really matter either, because it's cheap anyway. I think the med the meds could be antiseptic spray or traveler first aid kit. And then uh, probably cloth for the craft. I got it. I couldn't even see if I killed it. I was just, I was just, I kept shooting. I was like, I hope I got it. Hope. Hey, we got it. Killed it. Ooh, what a battle. Oh no, an optic, uh, an optic one. How do you know when it eyes open, you know? Like on the head, like how would you know? It's got a mask covering up a How would you kill that one? You'd have to do all body damage, wouldn't you? 
Ah, oh, it beats me. No, I... Alright, so heal up. At least we have heads. Heard a weird sound. Was that the stuff? It better not be. I'd be so... It'd be just not cool. Not cool. Um, okay, so... We're gonna go... I think the play is to run to Greywood real quick. Fast travel to Haver, take out the silver, and then uh, the next one will reset, and then uh, that's going to be the last one for this uh, day, because then the new um, missions are going to start. We're ready. We're going to be ready here in a little bit, guys, to uh, go over the, the market, like I'm saying. I think it's going to be chips. I think it's going to be um, Lunar Cake or Sugar Dragon. I think it's a 50-50 chance. I, think, I just don't know. You know? I kind of... I don't know. Either one wouldn't surprise me. Just put it that way. Um... I think it'll be yeah, any ammo. Your guess is as good as mine. The um, the the meds. It could be antiseptic spray. It's been a couple days, so you know I wouldn't. I I would doubt it. Um, they could just double up and say antibiotics again. Okay, fine. It could also be the Traveler First Aid Kit. I don't think that's as likely because it we just had that, what, two days ago? And then the crafting, I think, is going to be cloth or the cotton thread. Because they haven't picked cotton thread yet. And they might op expand the item rotation for that NPC. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me because they did that with leather. They did that with leather. So they're not gonna pick things that are already like a hundred thousand. They're not doing that. So I know that. So it's not gonna be nylon thread. It's not gonna be wax thread. You know, it's gonna be stuff that's already kind of lower. I counted thirty-one headshots. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, good counting. Nice. Yeah, when it's real time, fast like that, yeah, that's tough for me to... I had an approximate idea, but yeah, no, that's good. You got, you got my back on that. Cool. I think you might have missed one. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. I'm just seeing if I still had the... Uh... But 31 times, that's probably what health it has, yeah. Probably what health it has. And you know, that wouldn't necessarily be unprecedented, right? Because those Acolytes, I think Acolytes have like 8,000 health. Here we go, Silver Dragons, where are you? I don't see him, I don't see him, I don't see him. Oh, now I do. Oh, he lagged into me. He lagged into me. That zombie took the shot for the... Wow. <laughs> oh, they found a gore trimmer. Wow. There, there's 45 mil. <laughs> nice roll. I, I would get uh, a bottle of sand. <laughs> I'm guessing that the dragon has that. Yeah, well, it could. It could. Very well could. Oh, darn. I thought that was... I tried the unique chest one. I got some kickbox sandals. 
Yeah. I I think there's more to this. I think uh oh we took a little bit of damage. Um I think it's possible that they're opening a lot more than one. We're just seeing the good one that they got. They're not getting congratulations. You notice how it's saying it's not saying congratulations, you got a whatever kickbox sandal, you know? It only says congratulations if it's good. So who knows how many chests they had to open to get that. They probably opened like 20 of them, 30 of them, I don't know. So they still made, they still made, they, they still did better maybe than if they hadn't done that. But that's only if they wanted a gore trimmer. Like, do you want a gore trimmer? What if you didn't want that, you know? I mean, me personally, I actually think the gore trimmer is pretty good. So yeah, I if, if I got it, I would take it, sure. I think that's actually really good. Um... I got the whole world after. I just wanted to loot one thing. Sorry. I'm still going to loot it despite you. Oh, I was hoping for crafting. Or... Okay, so where we go? I guess we could stay in the vicinity. Because the unique chests were made to combat inflation, three mil right off the market. You have better odds at selling credits for cash than rolling for unique. I know. Oh, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Darius. Hey, uh, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream, Darius. How much is trade? tax it's uh 15 percent yeah yeah it's 15 percent it doesn't you know it's not something that they're gonna outright tell you in like a tutorial or anything i noticed but yeah just from experience uh yeah it is uh 15 percent so um what it'll do um so in your um like if you get a, like a notification from the system, it'll say like, it'll say you sold something. It'll say like what it sold for. And then it'll say like after tax enclosed or something on a trade or whatever that's a. And then that is going to be what you net from the tax after the. Yeah, I don't know what I think about. That. Not gonna lie, I forget about the tax. Oh, I know, it's easy. It's easy, yeah. Yeah, it's not something like, it's like a conscious thing, like, oh man, but... Yeah, for this game, you gotta account for it. There's other games, I'll just say, where, like, the community... Um... They're adamantly against taxation, like, like adamant. I don't know how I feel about it, other than to say I don't think it were. Because the you you've seen these prices have inflated no matter what. It doesn't matter what the tax is because they've inflated anything. Ooh, okay. focus up here. Oh God, that was actually really tough. That's really tough. We got to go back. Let's just go back to the um, output. Sometimes I'm super happy something got sold just to get 5, 10, 10k cut off. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just wish the tax had a purpose. Oh, I know. 
Well, I, I thought about that when I was kind of brainstorming the other day. You know, offline, just kind of thinking of, you know, ideas for the game. I was like, okay, well... What what is this text going towards? What are we what are we building towards? Is there an outpost fund that we're funding and then now you know once it reaches what 100 million or something then there's a new building added to the game or I don't know, you know what I mean? Like something fun could be made out of it even if it's just make believe. Like if it's just fa like oh, you know what I'm saying like it doesn't have to be just a strict, like, oh, here's your market tax. Yeah, exactly. Sure, it's reasonable for combating exploitation, like moving money across your... Well, I, I try to, I try to move, well, I have to, I have to, I have to convert my, my cash into crafting because... I'm not sure of another really good way where you don't lose a whole lot of cash. Yeah, that that's not an insignificant amount. So if you sell something for if you sell something for one million, you lose 150k to the market, and it doesn't go any. You know what does it go towards? This, this trader is a billionaire. This trader is a billionaire, but. We still have well, how many guards? You know what I mean. We have what one guard? I don't two guard. You know what I'm saying? We should be having like all kinds of guards in this place for a billion dollars of tax revenue. You know, what I mean? <laughs> this whole place. This should be like a um, like an armed outpost. There should be like a guard here. You know what I mean? Guards everywhere for a billion dollars. <laughs> You know, for us. <coughs> there's no hope for us. Yeah, because you're gambling with our tax money, trader. What are, you, what are you doing? I still can't get over those credits that were 800k, and I just I didn't have enough to buy them for 100. 100, 100 credits. <laughs> okay, chat. We've got... 15 minutes to make a decision. I'm going to spend some of the dragon cash, the cash I got from fighting the dragons, on this cotton thread. We'll see if I'm right. Um, I've also planned for the fact that it could be cotton thread. I have planned for that. I think it's either going to be cloth is my main thought. I haven't invested anything in cloth, so I won't benefit from it. I'm just making a prediction. If I'm wrong, it's going to be one of these other things in my mind. Because it hasn't been yet, and I think they're going to throw us a curveball. Like they did with leather. When? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm trying to prepare either way. Hmm. <laughs> the trader even created Bitcoin. <laughs> Regular nails could be too. You can get nails in low level areas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I mean, I think I found nails like one time in this. <laughs> Have I, I'm just trying to think. Do we want to take on the gold one one more time? Let's take on the gold one one more time. We'll go one more time, gold, and then we're going to focus on market preparation. Oh, it's a creep. It's a creep. Whoa. Where did that creep come from? What? Hey, let, let, let's get a bearing on what happened here. What? That never happens. Did they lure that creep? What happened? Hey, I'll take a free weapon. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. That was really cool. I'd only get four of them just for the quest possibility. 
I killed a fingerhead around there. Well, I, I've seen that, guys. Like, random random bosses around the outpost. I, I feel like they need to do a little more of that. I feel like they could do a little more of that. Okay. This is going to be the last... Uh, the last attempt at the gold dragon for this uh, re this day, this reset. So we're going to give it all we got. Okay. Go as fast as I can. We're going to take it out. We're going to win. Actually, no, I don't have enough health. Crap. Uh, I got to throw in the Medicare. Okay. Good thing I caught. Good thing I caught that. We're good. We're good. I would have had to have healed anyway. You dancing? A zombie was dancing. Dancing to the jams. Oh, we have a player here. Player here. Hey, they took it out, right? Hey, yes! I leeched off it. Yes! Someone carried me for once. Alright. Wow. How, how lucky was that? That was sweet. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate what you did there. That was... You know, you did a good job. Actually, wait. Okay, and no, no neon zombie. Okay. Oh, morphine. Nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's like what? 4K? Nice. Never know with some of these uh, random uh, loots out in the open here. Sometimes you get some good stuff from this stuff. I guess that's like anywhere. You never know. I killed a fingerhead around there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for the like. Appreciate it. Again, uh, guys, this is going to be... When you go to the videos for this, for this stream, it's going to have the same title. This is continuation from earlier. I got disconnected because the server disconnected or something. So that's the only reason why it's like that. I didn't mean to cut that short. But uh, yeah, so if you watch this back, or even for reference, um, this is going to be, episode two is going to be two parts. So I updated the description with that as well. Uh, just for reference in the future. Um, I think we'll go with episode three tomorrow, but just depends. Just depends. So we got some more envelopes, which is cool. Nice. We're almost to another set of 190 there which will be great for making some more of those uh couches uh morphine i think the price went down now it's like 3.5 oh it might be okay yeah it might be 3. okay yeah let's see all right so um here's what i was saying uh we're gonna add this up for fun because we're gonna make the market moves here right we got nine minutes nothing on the radio again so Keep this number in mind. So 1920 plus we'll call it uh, whatever the net of that would be. 15% uh, off of 3200. That's what? Uh, uh, 480. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it 2700. So we'll, we'll say like 4600 bucks. The 4600 bucks we get to spend for free, basically. What are we going to buy? What are we going to buy? For 4600 bucks. It's not this. We're not buying that. Should I buy some soda? Hey, we're going to buy three sodas. We'll overpay a little bit. We're going to buy three sodas. That's what we're buying. Buying three sodas. Actually, wait, I got a whole inventory here. Hold on. 
I am going to buy as many sugar dragons as I can buy. No hope for us. We're buying sugar dragon. We're going to type in sugar. And I am going to buy as many as I can. Carry. <coughs> Because these were 10,000 easy the other day when that happened. So, we've got seven minutes. If it's if it's that, then that, what, 50, 60k will turn into like, what, three, 400k? Whatever that number is. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. But, but we bought it. <laughs> we bought it. <laughs> hey, all it takes is one lucky try, and you land a whole lot of profit, you know? <laughs> hey, what, uh... Alright, guys, so just for fun, here's what's in the stash, okay? This is what I got going for the stash. We got soda, we got cotton thread, we got leather needles, we got antiseptic spray for days, traveler first aid kits... Some more sugar dragons, because I didn't buy enough, apparently. We got some peanut butter in case the kid wants peanut butter sandwiches. And we have some chips in case it's chips again. With my other characters, I've got a car full of antiseptic spray. I've got a car full of diet soda, just in case. <laughs> it's going to be something, so, you know. <laughs> I thought you'd get a kick out of that. <laughs> just to just for fun too. <laughs> Bought the whole rack out. <laughs> I thought I had a goblin horde. Yeah, well hey, I you know I actually wasn't really planning on it, but when I, when I was sniping them, I was buying them for like 2000 each. I was like, wow, these are really a low price, you know? I'm like, there's no way they're selling for 2 k you know? So I kept buying them, and I just kept buying them and buying them and <laughs> buying them. Yeah, business is business. Um, I might even want to sell one of them now just to sell one. Just in case it's not, you know? At least I'll sell one. Um, Let's see... With the five minutes we've got left, uh, I will help we'll cut them a slight deal. We'll go 6,900. We'll see how fast these sell. I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm going to kind of prep one of these uh, items, too, for 10k. Just in case they start to skyrocket. I'll have something in the market to give me a uh, indication when i'm going to the family residence sugar dragon sold then i know oh okay here we go all right but yeah uh we got four more minutes let's just see where the antiseptic sprays are at i'm very curious they haven't moved wow that's crazy i would think these would be up by now I'm telling you, the moment it changes, these are going to go up to 5,000. I, you know, I saw it happen before. I got a ton of potato chips prepped. Yep. Yep. Um, and, and you know what? I mean, okay, so they picked antibiotics. Let's do one more refresh. Why not burns kits? Why not? Why not? Just buy one real quick. Why not? I need some anyway for my reserves. Why not? Who says a thousand antiseptic sprays is enough? <laughs> no. You can never have enough. Ever. <laughs> I mean, after this event, I'm not really going to be buying any more of that stuff. I won't really need to, but... Like, I'll still buy, like, the painkiller. 
Yeah, that was fun. So um, we're done fighting the dragons for now. As you can tell, I'm kind of in, in market mode. I'm in market mode, so we're going to head to Dalbo. So yeah, get ready, everybody. The items are going to... It's going to be different here in a couple of minutes. So get to Dalbo. That's what these other players are doing. You can see... I'm going to bet they are already on the way. So I think we're going to go... We want to go to the residence, probably. Let's go to the residence. And actually, I think... Well, we'll be outside anyway. I'm trying to think. Okay, it'll put you out in Dalbo. Okay, so quick rundown. I think it's going to be chips. I think it's going to be lunar cake or sugar dragon. I think it's going to be uh, any ammo. Just get the ammo. I think it'll be antiseptic spray, traveler kit, or something different. And I think the crafting is going to be either cloth or cotton thread. That's my prediction. So good luck, everybody, and hope you hopefully you get tons of money from them. And uh, don't uh, don't over don't overpay for any of that stuff. Like don't spend twenty thousand on a chocolate spread, please, please don't. I'm sure you'll find one just kind of scavenging around in one of the bins or something. Huh, I thought that was a zombie. All right, so. Let's see, so we're, we got a countdown here, guys. Let me, let me see here. We got a countdown. We're going to quit to lobby. Okay, quit to lobby. Okay, morphine sold. Okay, good. All right, well, the moment it hits 4 o'clock, or wherever you're at, you know, whatever time... One o'clock, etc. Okay, it's on. Let's go. Time to find out. Time to find out. We're here. Uh, oh, yeah, they put me there. Okay. We're gonna beat everyone. We're gonna beat everyone to the residence. We're gonna be the first one here. First one. First one. Everyone's trying to beat me. I gotta jump on them though. You guys get to hear it first. Okay, here's the mother's request. There's nothing left. Survivor stew. Nope, didn't get that one right. Nope. What's the use? Potato chips. It's it's chips. It's chips. It's chips. I got it right. Hi. 5.56 millimeter rounds, okay. How long can this go Antibiotics. Oh, I thought it said antiseptic. What no. can I do for you? Cloth. It's cloth. Cloth. Hmm. I got the chips right. Yes. Yes. Wait, didn't I buy... Oh, I bought sodas. Oh, that's right. Okay. I bought sodas. Oh, okay. It's Survivor Stew. Yeah, it's Survivor Stew. So what, what goes into that? Survivor Stew. Oh, oh, the, the beans and the soups are going to go up. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey, we got to hold on. Oh, yep, it's already happening. It's already happening. It's already happening. Oh, my gosh. The chips are already at 14,000. Yes. Oh, antibody. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Well, this is why we do this. All right, guys. They want to sell some chips. We can sell some chips. Let's, uh, let's do a bit of an exchange here. Chips for sugar dragons. Oh. Yes, we are going to sell some chips. Absolutely. I just got to think, what am I going to sell them for, though? 
And I don't think these are all the chips I've got. I've got plenty more, I think, too. <laughs> I knew I was going to land one of these at some point, you know. <laughs> oh, there goes my soups that I overpriced. Yep, the soup sold too, guys. I knew it. Knew it. Okay, good. I got some of that right. Okay. So what are we what are we thinking, guys, for chips? What are we what, what are we thinking here? Oh, they're at 15 now. What? Yes. <laughs> hey, uh. Hey. Okay, wait a minute. How many do I have? I have 17 okay so 17 bags we can afford to sell one for an affordable 15 grand but i want to price them um, don't, don't didn't they get up to 30k the last time this happened <laughs> didn't they i'm trying to think uh i'm just gonna sell one for every thousand right i'm just gonna guess every thousand and something's gonna be right <laughs> right you know, you can't be wrong with all these prices. <laughs> so I can pull all these antiseptic sprays because that wasn't it. And I can also pull some of the other stuff that. But we had to try. You know? Oh, man. One of these days we're going to get them all. It's like a lotto ticket. It's just you get them all the numbers right and then you get the jackpot, right? <laughs> Or one of these days. But chips, is, I mean, that's still a good win, though. You know, that's still pretty good. That'll pay for all the other stuff, like, overtime. Let's see, what what else is happening in the market here? What are you after? Huh, we are after some deals. Uh, okay, so so does 2k. Okay, yeah, that's... Nothing really moving there. Um, medical. Huh? Okay. Okay. Antibiotics. Okay. Um, I will buy some, though, because I do need... Oh, my inventory's... Oh, gosh, every... I have so much stuff. I guess that's a good problem to have. Well, I guess we'll do the other... Other stuff in the meat. The little thing. Yeah. Tin soup, potato chips. Oh, yeah, those are the ones I. Okay, yeah, those were the test ones I put in there. That's right. Large gauge needles. Large gauge needles spiked. You actually think you can survive up there? Oh, wait. You're in the. You're looking at. Uh... Where, what are the large gate? Oh yeah, they did. Hey, so so myth. Why why would these why would these spike? Any idea? Yeah, I, I see that. I see what you're talking. But so wait, so the keys. Whoa. Hey, the keys are up too. They're like double the price now. They're like 18k a key. What? Yeah, broken keys are 18k each. Wow. Or like almost 19. Potato chips already on 13k. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't cotton thread. Fine. It was cloth though. I okay, so I got two of the five right. I said potato chips and I said cloth. If it was antiseptic spray, that would have been an easy mill. You can't win them all. But I, I think it might be tomorrow, though. Probably the reset hype. I bought a cloth. <laughs> hey, oh, good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're, hey, they're already 30. Should I should I buy one? Should I buy one for 30? I mean, well, they'll be 40, won't they? I'll buy one. I'll buy... Oh, no, I can't because of my inventory. Oh, my God. We gotta handle this. Hey. Uh, okay. Oh, the chips aren't selling for. Fifty. I could offload one of these sodas, I guess. Um.
They were 21k before. Yeah, they were, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, the chips are going down. Oh, they're, the market's being flooded. The market's being flooded. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so whenever you guys see Survivor Stew, the item that goes up the most is soup. And then and then beans. These veggies and steaks don't really move, even though they're part of making the Survivor Stew. What you want to get in advance is this soup. So if you pay 2000 for every soup and they sell for 6 whatever the net is of that, what you would make on every soup. Um, and the same with the beans. The beans were 800 bucks yesterday. The beans were 800 bucks. I remember seeing that. So it's five times five times that now. Um. Wow, is this price gonna hold? Is 10k gonna hold? I feel like it's gonna go up, right? Let's take a look at uh, chips here. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. There's a whole page. All right. So we're kind of priced out. Of... Okay. Let's, uh, okay. I did buy these for like 2K each. So let's just go, just sell some of these and get some money, get some items moving, free up a little bit of this inventory, but then we're going to sell the majority of these for what I think they should probably go. Um, what what do we think? I mean, at their peak, I mean, they'll probably go 20k each, right? I mean, they were up, they were at 30 the one time it happened. I don't know, you know? I have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna price a couple at each tier, I guess. Probably the only way to fairly judge that. Hmm, <clears throat> chips are still going down. A minor, minor insta selling. You seeing this? Chip sold, chip sold. Yeah, they're insta selling. Um, let's see. Whoa, what? I think people. I think it. What is it? So if mine, how are mine selling? When they must be using uh, outdated uh, refresh. Because yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at that. It jumped up a thousand in like two seconds. I'm just hitting refresh every two seconds. Mm-hmm. They're not refreshing. And candy... Candy's up. Why would candy be going? Okay. Well, let's see. Was there any movement? Oh, yeah, we can look at the crafting. Cloth is 295. And they were 21k before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's going to affect the price of soft soles, which I've been trying to sell. When they mess with it like this, soft sole prices go crazy. I don't know why they do. Okay. It's like playing it's like playing yo-yo with the market. How much can the market yo-yo like? Okay, we're at tw getting to 12k here. You guys see this? We're getting to 12k for chips again. Getting back to 12k. Okay, we're at 12k. We're at 12. That's why I'm I'm holding mine. I'm holding mine because they're being bought like crazy. Let's just do it like this. Chips up to 12, yep. All right, so how many do we have? 14 at 12k. Let's see if this let's see if this number moves when I refresh it. 
Okay, there's more supply than demand right now. Okay, there's more supply. Supply. It's kind of even right now. Oh no, I think the the purchasing is going a little quicker than the the. It it's like a tug of war. This is crazy to watch. The like a tug of war actually. Kind of funny. Careful with refresh. I know. No. Okay. So it seems like there's a lot for twelve five. They gotta get through that to get to thirteen. Hmm. I mean if I start selling them now. There is any chance to get to fifteen again? I I think they will. I do think they will, um, because we're only, what, 13 minutes into this? Chocolate spreads went from, like, 12k to 18k later in the day, so it, it can happen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna price mine, because I saw a lot were evenly, like, flat 12.5. We're, we're gonna test one at a time. I want to get like the most cash from here. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys had soups and stuff kind of stored up because, you know, it, it is one of those items where it's like, it's not directly asked for, but because survivor stew <laughs> to make one, you need soup. That's why it's in. That's why it's going. So by itself, normally wouldn't be a consideration, but soup soup has always been one of those items that has inflated. I've seen it in the past. It would be five hundred one day, and it would be like three thousand another day, and I'm like, what happened? It's just because a lot of players crafted the survivor stew that day or something, and just enough weren't being added back into circulation in the market. There is any, uh, I think tomorrow will be Sugar Dragon. Yeah, I think I was a day early. I think I was a day early, but I, I think they're going to run Sugar Dragon again. I do. I really do. They're going to run Sugar Dragon and Lunar Cake like one more time each, I think. I think they're going to rotate through these items like one more time each. And then they're going to give us a curveball with something we're not... You know what I mean? Something... I think they're going to... The last day... It wouldn't surprise me, like, the last day... They picked, like, pasta or some random item. You know what I mean? Like... Because why... Well, it's the last day, so why care? You know what I mean? So... That, that would be my opinion. All right, so that's that. Let's just see... Crafting one more time... I'm going to uh, price some of these and then kind of switch over to the other characters and start running through some of these. Uh... I just wanted to get a baseline of what these were selling for and do something a bit different here for a second than just take out dragons the whole time. You know, don't want to get burned out. Okay, so it seems like they're 11k right now. Um, die out there. Well, I'm going to sell... I'm going to I'm going to sell I'm going to try to sell I don't know. I don't think what are we what are we saying here? I think it's going to max at 25. Yeah, there's going to be a max to these. Um How many players are willing to actually complete the mission? I think it comes down to that. So it's 4 for every player. And if they have multiple characters running this, they could be doing this multiple times. That's why these prices get out of control. Because I think multiple players run multiple characters with them. I don't know. We'll just we'll just put a lot of these at 13. You know, and if you guys sell them for more than me, great. Um, I'm just gonna 
give some example or some baseline on what you could do given the current uh as of you know this time in the game what you could try to do right now um uh, for those sales i just hope one of these days it's going to be antiseptic sprays i don't know what i'm going to do with 200 of them <laughs> I want to sell them all on the market. And then we're going to we're going to hold one bag for like the big like the main price kind of like you're saying their myth. I'm going to have one prepped for that. But most of these other ones are in sell range. I think it's going to max yeah 20. There's like 1k people online. There must be a ton of chips circulating. I think there is. Yeah, I think there is too. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it at all. Yep. Yep. I have all these extra items I don't need. <laughs> oh neat. Okay, I gotta check let me check my check my trades. What do I have in trade here? Oh yes, I was storing stuff in my trades too. Okay, here we go. Thanks for holding those, Alt. Appreciate it. <laughs> There's eight more. There we go. Much better. <laughs> now I can sell antiseptic sprays that I don't need right now. See, it works out. Oh, I got to do it the other way, though. I got to go, um, what was it? Character search. You can sell stuff to your alts. I don't know if you guys know. I was just testing it, and you can. Yeah, you just go private trade, and then you just shift-click a bunch of your items. Um, sell them for zero, and that way you don't have to deal with the market tax. It's just kind of like a placeholder storage, you know? I'm not going into homers, so. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to bed. Good luck. Hey, uh, crab. Hey, uh, good, good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, as usual. Yep. Good stuff. GG. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. And, uh, hopefully you, you make a lot in the market with all the stuff. Maybe you're, you're lucky, got lucky and have a bunch of chips or something. I don't know. Let's see, what, what did we just sell? Oh, okay, we sold soda. Okay. We sold some chips. Okay. Alright, yeah, there's got to be a ton of chips, though, like you were saying there. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we, we pulled from the reserves here. <laughs> we pulled from the reserves. We're just going to kind of go for it, right, guys? If I get flooded with sold notifications you guys know what it is we're gonna have it all prepped ready to go cancel all these antiseptics and you know chips <laughs> let the market work for me or I, I i'm forgetting what am i even pricing <laughs> there's so many i'm getting it's even me and i'm used to doing this I gotta think what I'm doing here. There's so many. Ch <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do with antiseptic spray. What am I gonna do when all of them have to sell? I have to go on every character and sell 40 of them. <laughs> oh, this game, man. It It's funny like that. That's funny. Man, oh man. All right, so, um. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. So we got a bunch of chips ready to go. Um, let's just see here. Uh, let, let's go over these. So survivor stew, we're not gonna do. Chips, we're not gonna do. Five point five six millimeter rifle rounds, we will. We will buy these. Uh, antibiotics will buy. 
cloth we won't buy. All right, so we're going to run these two. So let's go and get that. Uh, let me see if I have the meds. Oh, I don't think I do. Um, I might have to buy that stuff real quick. You'll die in here. We'll die in here. Trader. Not very optimistic. I just need one more antibiotic to get the uh, 15 total. Now, these are 2,000 each. All right. Um, cool. So, I'm thinking of the other character. So, like, let's, uh, let's set aside the amount we'll need. Gonna hang on to this other random stuff. Okay, I just gotta get. I gotta buy the ammo. So what we'll do? So what you do? So basically, if you want to run these missions kind of back to back to back, just buy you know, few of the rounds of, of ammo. They're really not all that much. Eleven is perfect. Okay, so a hundred bucks, right? Whatever. We're gonna go. And turn these missions in. Let's see, make sure I started everything first. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna head to bed to what as well. Hey, um, myth. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Yep. Yeah, as usual. Uh, cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yep. We'll be back tomorrow. So I'm just wrapping up with this market stuff and then we will be continuing tomorrow's series with taking on the dragons. So thanks. Oh. I miss the sun. So yeah, you just go to each NPC, get your envelopes, your cash and XP. Uh, what's the use? Hey, I got a rare enhancer after doing that, so that's cool. We got 30 envelopes for that. Um, okay, so then we're going to go through and loot. Actually, did I already? No. Is there not a loot spot? Oh, did they take it away? Wait a minute. Well, this normally is, right? Unless I already looked. I don't think I did. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I haven't really been in here yet. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. All right. Band-Aids. Let's see if we find any chips while we're here. Oh, we found cloth! We found cloth in here! Yes! <laughs> Oh my, that is awesome. Wow, what a find. I found that in the first room. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's 30k. That's 30k. Yeah, boy. Wow. Oh, first aid kit. Thank you. A mother's leather. A mother. Um, a mother's letter in the room where there's the lunar mother. <laughs> that is coincidence. That's fun. We'll take the XP, I guess. Um. Yeah. Let's keep searching. Wow, that was awesome. 30k cloth. And who knows? It might be 40k in the market now. I don't even know. Junk. Traveler first aid kit, good. Okay. Tires. Okay. Antibiotics. Okay, so we got one of them back. 
because it, it it requires three for the mission so we got one of them back okay that's good that was that was 2k right there okay band-aids um okay what else yeah a lot of acp rounds Fuel, eh. antiseptic spray. Okay. Okay. And then we got the last room. Mechanic diary. Okay. Well, we got cloth, which is really, really good. That's really great. We'll uh, head back. We'll head back to the outpost. Then I'm going to run with the other characters. I'll just show you guys to wrap up for the night, you know, for the uh, session. Um, you know? One one of the ways with the, your other characters you can get some XP. Just try to power level for the event, you know, while it's still going on. All right, so you got eight eight rare enhancers. All right, way too much stuff. We'll have to sell some. Okay. And I, I, I need a second to figure this out. All right. I think what you do. We're just gonna. I the market will die in here along with the rest of us. So we 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 got cloth, so that's huge. That's a really big deal. Let's see. What do you want? The um we go to crafting. All right, so 26,000 So I okay. Um Yeah. All right. It's not safe here. All right. All right. So we'll sell the cloth. That's good. I think I'm just going to scrap this. I don't think it's going to sell for four. Um, there's so much other stuff I want to sell. Uh, what just sold? Cloth sold? Oh, it sold instantly. Okay, what did, what did we net from that? Me too? All right. How long can this go on? <coughs> yeah, I just got to use this as storage for now, I guess. I just don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. We'll, we'll sell some of these aid kits for like a semi-reasonable price. And if they sell, you know, I'm willing to go with that you know you can't hold, hoard every item like i gotta get some stuff moving to get these inventory slots back in manageable levels 
All right, uh, so we're capped there. Uh, give me one second. All right, guys. Cool. So we're just trying to sell some stuff. Um, I'm trying to free up enough space where I could get the other characters ready to go with gaining the XP and all that. So, uh, let me just think here. How am I going to do this? Um, okay. We need to free up enough space. This is only temporary. T only temporary. All right. Um, I should be. Oh, okay. All right. We'll get that all sorted and figured out later on. All right. So what do we need? So we got antibiotics and we got the ammo and we got all the other gear for the other characters. Okay. So let's switch over. Let's switch over and just kind of go through them. Okay, what do I have in the car here? All right, we got one free spot. We're gonna need it too. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Help will come, right? Okay. Alright, so with this character it's a little different. You can see I got the I got some of the beans that went up. Chocolate bar didn't sell, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. We'll pull that and try again, I guess. Um, actually, wait. Um, these were... I think I need to retry the beans here. Retry the beans here, because those actually are going to sell. Those actually are going to sell just cancel all this stuff. The veggies will, too, a little bit. Well, those aren't going to sell for as much. You know, the game is Dead Frontier, but I feel like I'm playing Market Frontier, because I'm like, I'm always in the market now because of this event. <laughs> Market front. My character is buried in items, literally. <laughs> Help will come, right? Oh my god. So, um, we're just gonna have to sell some, some of this stuff. How much does. No, I guess. I find enough of this ant. All right. Get rid of some of this. Um. Well, we have every med here except the antibiotics, which are mean. Okay, so we'll let all this kind of stuff sell. We'll sell. Uh, not so. Not so. The. Okay, and we'll we'll just do that. All right. So what uh, what do we we need the rifle rounds and we need the antibiotics. We're gonna go ahead and have to turn those in. 
Make sure we get all of our missions. Got to do that with all the characters. Okay, we sold the beans. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, very good. Let's go uh, turn these uh, items in. Get the envelopes. That's really the main reason why I'm doing this. Get get the envelopes. Get the cash. Get the XP too. And maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get some more cloth or chips from these uh, these uh, pulls here. Guess we'll see. We'll see what we get. All right, we got coffee. We could just antiseptics. Bandages. Like any random med, I'm just going to kind of use. Hey. Hey. Soda, will you take it? Five minutes. Okay. Okay, let's turn these missions in. What are you after? Go. Yeah. Paint cloth by any means. What do you want? Another antiseptic spray. <laughs> All right, let's see what we find. <laughs> 20 G. No, I'm good. I've got plenty. <laughs> now, I wouldn't mind a bag of potato chips. Uh, vegetable. Are they, what are they selling? 600? It is extra money, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to pass up on those because I can't really carry anything. Um, if the item I find is greater than 700 bucks, I'm, I'll just discard something. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not going to take it. Uh, oh. uh, sometimes those damage ones can be really good for uh, find ammo and all. Some what? A rare t-shirt. Huh. Didn't really get anything good here. Oh, well, we'll just uh, turn in those uh, envelopes. All right, everybody. That'll probably wrap it up for this episode. I was just trying to end it on a note with the uh, market because of all the uh, insanity that kind of goes on with this each day with these items. Just wanted you to get a glimpse of kind of what uh, I was seeing. 
uh, you know, if you had a similar experience, you know, with seeing how some of these prices spiked, um, what you can kind of do um, in lieu of that, you know, don't, don't buy so much like I did, but, um, you know, if you do, keep in mind you're yeah. going to need some inventory space to, um, you know, work with, which I don't. So in lieu of that, um, really just try to do what you can. Um, we're just going to price some of this stuff to wrap up here. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. If you're watching this uh, after the fact, uh, thank you. So, um... You know, we're going to continue tomorrow with the series, guys. Um, we're going to obviously be taking on dragons, not doing a lot of market stuff. Just wanted to show this real quick because this is going to be part of the game until um, the reset, like the day after the last day of the event where... You know, things will kind of get back to normal in the market. That said, try to make as much profit as you can. Hopefully this helps. You can kind of uh, anticipate maybe what's going to happen next. Maybe have an idea in mind. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then, you know, make that decision, and then hopefully uh, you luck out and uh, do well. So, all right. Is there anything? Hey, we sold some stuff. Okay, great. That's cool, guys. Very cool, guys. Uh, welcome, everybody. So, um, if you're just, just tuning in, we are just... Uh, Trading some stuff real quick. I was going to actually run through the other characters real quick here. Just kind of seeing what some of these prices are at with the uh, food stuff. Taking a quick look here. Okay. Checking crafting one more time. Okay, cloth is down to... Okay, that's good to see. Cloth is coming down and oh, that's interesting. I sold mine for what twenty six? Oh that's cool. Okay, so it's going down a little bit. I don't know though. Do I trust that? Is that I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna put that one away. I don't know, that might go up again. We'll see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch to the other character. Uh, and we'll kind of call it there, guys. Uh, all right, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, you know, again, this was the market portion of the video. Um, you can feel free to watch it back uh, a lot earlier in the video. We were taking on the dragons, you know, of course. So uh, there will be those opportunities again tomorrow, which we will continue with, with that theme then. Um, yeah, so I um, just wanted to say thanks, everybody. Uh, you know, I know this portion was a bit more, this kind of is what it is, but... We're just trying to help everyone in case uh, you weren't familiar, like you didn't know which items it was today from the reset. Give you a quick heads up to where you could make those decisions and then try to sell some stuff for some profit. But uh, yep, so we'll catch you all on the next one. Should be back tomorrow. Anyways, have a great one, guys. Peace.